Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Proverbs chapter 3 verse, actually we're doing all of Proverbs chapter 3. It came from verses 9, yeah verse 9 but we'll read the whole chapter this morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to give you thanks for yet another glorious day, another glorious morning, another day that you have made which we shall be rejoicing and giving you thanks in it, Lord Jesus Christ. For you have spared us, your mercies, your grace and your love have kept us here even today. And we are not ignorant to the fact that all man is deserving of death through sin but the three the free gift free gift is there for all those who believe and accept it and we believe on you and accept you lord jesus christ and i pray that each and every person who hears this prayer do this even in this moment today lord jesus we just pray, Lord, for continual strength in this life. Continue to help us to battle and to fight that good fight of faith, coming against all the wiles of the enemy, to stand firm, to stand strong, to, through prayer and supplication unto you, shall war a good war, because the weapons of our warfare, as you said, is not carnal, but it's spiritual. It is you that help us to battle. And we know for a certainty that the time is at hand and our enemy is trying to take us out. This is true for all of us. There's not one of us that the enemy is not trying to take out. And if the enemy is not trying to take us out, then we have to question which side we are on. But we know if we are battling yet still, that we are yours, Lord Jesus Christ, and we have no fellowship with the works of evil, with the devil. So continue to help us to be girded up with all the full armor, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the feet shodded with the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit which is the word of god gird us up lord in the spirit and let us not retire our armor for we need to battle until the end we shall put it off when you shall redeem us from this corrupt mortal flesh and when you do redeem us from this corruption you shall clothe us with incorruption and shall give us a new garment, that garment of white which radiates your glory. Keep us, Lord Jesus Christ, from failing. Keep us on the path of righteousness, that narrow path in which only a few will abide therein. All those who hear this prayer, I pray that we stay on that path, never deviating to the left nor to the right nor looking behind or backsliding or any such thing but in all things that we are equipped to finish this course which you have set before us and though the tests and trials are ordained to happen in these in this life i just pray lord jesus christ that they be the things that build us up and not the things that tear us down the things that purge us from all evil and iniquity and not the things that cause us to fall into them so help us through all, all tests and trials as we ask and petition you each and every morning each and every day that you continue to help us to be equipped to help the youth to direct them in the way the knowledge the truth of who you are so that when they're of age they shall never neglect or reject you and that you continue to help to promote to protect to sustain to nurture the union of godly marriages those who are going through it i just pray that you help them through it because at the end of the day the enemy is trying to cause discord in this 
because again this is us exemplifying you Lord Jesus Christ and we know that the devil wants no part of you so Lord Jesus Christ lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning these proverbs make it be edifying to all those who hear it to the glory of God our Heavenly Father in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we pray Amen all right so Proverbs chapter 3 heading here says benefits of wisdom my son forget not my law but let thine heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee let not mercy and truth forsake thee bind them about thy neck write them upon the table of thine heart so shalt thou find favor and good of good understanding in the sight of god and man trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths be not wise in thine own eyes fear the lord and depart from evil it shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones Honour the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as the Father, the Son, in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honour. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes, keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. Amen. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, though thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked, when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Amen. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Say not, in thy, say not unto thy neighbour, Go, and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou hast it by thee. Devise not evil against thy neighbour, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee. Strive not with a man without cause, if he have done, done thee no harm. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the fraud is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked but he blesseth the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Amen. Very, very lovely proverb this morning. First again, that daily dose of wisdom. Yeah, and I really do, I, I, when I say it, I really do mean it, that I hope these things, when I read it, it's benefiting those who hear it as it is benefiting me. 
and i do say as always if you feel led to share if the lord feel it needed to share anything you can drop it in the comment section or send it in to the word at eachreach1.org and as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit so have a blessed day everyone and god's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow